Hello, welcome to a new tutorial of Deepak for SketchUp. In this video, I'm going to show you how to select and insert with Deepak any component of SketchUp. But first, it's important to remark the difference between the joinery and the component tool of Deepak. The joinery tool will let you open and insert any component of SketchUp which will somehow interact with the walls, such as doors and windows. But we will see this feature in our next tutorial. On the other hand, with the component tool you can open any component of SketchUp and insert it anywhere in the 2D view. This component won't interact with other geometry and can be placed at any desired elevation. Please note that with the back you can open any component from your library, either if it has been downloaded from the 3D warehouse or if it is a self-created component. So let's choose this TV set from my library and I'm going to insert it next to this wall. Once I've ha I have inserted it, I can click on the component tool again to choose the next object. As you can see, it is very easy and fast to use and you will be able to move or rotate the component with its respective tools of SketchUp. After moving and rotating the component, I can open other objects to insert them in the desired location. As mentioned before, I can establish an elevation to the component. This elevation will be only displayed when the floor plan is converted to 3D. For example, I want this lamp to be on top of both tables. For this, I have to type the desired elevation before inserting the component, and then I can click on the spot where the lamp will be placed. Well, now it's time to convert to 3D and see the result. For this, I select the whole floor plan, make a group, and now I can click on the convert to 3D icon. Now you can see that all the components are shown in their respective location and the lamps are now above the tables as indicated with the elevation parameter. Note that if we want to change the location of our components in the floor plan, we can also do it directly from the 3D view. So if I move one object, the 2D view will be automatically updated and vice versa. Ok, thanks for watching, please check out our next video to learn how to change and edit the 2D view of our components. See you then!